Hi, this is Heidi Caswell with WordPress 101 for Boomers, and I wanted to welcome you to our video tutorial series, and um, let us know, give us some feedback on how much this will help you, and if you have any suggestions for the show here. Um, today we're going to go into what's your blog purpose. Now before we even get started and open up WordPress, and get everything going. I want you to put some thought in it. Why do you want to have a, a site, a WordPress site? And it helps to know, um, you know, you, there's several platforms that we can use. I like WordPress. There are other ones that work too. But the question is, is why do you want to have a site in the first place? What do you want it to do for you? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do with it? And if you can answer these questions, it will help you know what it is that you're wanting to, um, it'll help you build your site. It'll help you to know how to market it, what information to put in there, how to put it all together, how to have it serve the purpose. So before we can set it up so it can serve the purpose, we need to know what it is we want to do, what we want our, our, our site to do. I'm saying blog here, and sometimes it's more, WordPress is more than just a blog. It, it can be a lot more than that, but it's just the same. What is the purpose? What do you want it to accomplish? My first website that I made up, I named Connect Simply. And that is, as you can see right up here, the little tagline, Creating Personal Touch in a High-Tech World. I still need to go in, and I can improve the site. There's more things I can do to improve it. But one of the things I did here is I wanted to put things down that I had learned how to do, so I could teach others how to do it, too. I was involved in some online forums and things like that, and a lot of times the same questions would be asked so many times, and then people would type in various, like, I was like on a photography forum, and it was wanted to know. The most popular question was, how do I post a photo uh, into this forum site? And that same information was repeated so many times that finally I had gone in and I had somewhere else here on my blog, I had typed in an answer. And then next time somebody asked, I just sent them the link. So instead of recreating all that work, I put it there, and then other people found the information and they found it helpful. And like right here, a lot of times I know that I forget how to do things. It may be something I know there's a way to do it and I don't know how. I forget. And so if I write it down, that helps me remember. I had a friend over at my house, and she was doing something. I showed her how to do something on her uh, laptop, and she went in. She um, hit a, hit a uh, key, and she lost all her toolbar. It all disappeared. And she was just very frustrated, and she's like, I hate it when that happens, because then I don't know how to go to any website. My URL is all missing, and I don't know what to do with that. And immediately, my 13-year-old daughter speaks up and says, push F11. And if you do that, it will toggle it off so your two bars are up, and they're gone. And just little things like that that are very helpful to know. But if they're on this website, they're got, you can go back in and find them. Now here's a WordPress site, and it's got pages. It doesn't really have a blog. They could, could have blog on it if they want. But this is... Um, one that's about a uh, moving company. This is their website. And it's um, got all their information and information and things here, right here on the um, site. So WordPress can be a website, not just a blog. Before I created my first blog, I was just like, my first site, well, why would anyone want a blog in the first place? You know, because I was thinking a blog was just like the traditional online diary. Now it can be an online diary, and some people find it quite interesting if you go in and you hear someone's life into what's going on. But at the same time, I'm like, well, why would I want a public online diary? Why would I want one? And then, as I realized, there was so much more that you could do with it. Here is another website that Vice Decided 50, and here uh, she talks about like midlife job seekers. She shares a lot of information that will help others. This website here is a magazine site. Uh, she, there's a lot of content. There's different authors. Uh, they create content, and it's an online magazine. Here is an online video site where you can go on, and there's different things that's been pulled in here together, and you can go in there and be entertained and informed. But everything on here is video, and you can find a video that will uh, have a video website. This is also done on WordPress. Okay, stay tuned for part two on what purpose of your blog.